quite a show. Really had me going. Oh, welcome back. So sad, KKK. KKK. Young nigga, I got old cats spazzing on their ass. I got product on my whole ass. What's going on, guys? It's your man C to the J to the C. Y'all already know straight from the 305 Miami Gate County. If you new, hit that subscribe button and then hit that like button and then go check out my story time playlist. You feel me, though? You feel it what I'm feeling, what you feel it, that I know you feel it, the feelings of my feelings of feelings. <laughs> okay. What's going on, guys? Like, now we back again with another story time. But like I said, hit like, subscribe, comment, always show love. I, I appreciate y'all. I appreciate y'all. You smart. You important. You smart and important. And I appreciate y'all. That's, bro, that's that's everything right there. That's everything. So, yeah, guys. So, today's story time, we're going to talk about the landlord nightmare from hell. A landlord that's from hell. That's what I had. And I had to deal with it for a whole year because of a lease. Bruh. Bro, I'm trying. I'm gonna make it smooth and 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 and, and, and efficient as possible. But it's long, but we ain't trying to stay here for an hour. We try and make it smooth and efficient. But let's go straight straight to it. No time to converse. Numbers from the old western. All right, let's 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 go straight to it. All right, so um, yeah, I know I left Miami to move to Orlando to attend University of Central Florida to do my final two years of college. I did my first two years at Miami Dade College and got my AA in, in business administration. So basically I moved to Orlando to do my final two years in business administration slash in grade business. Man, basically like, um, um, I lived the place for a while, but that's gonna be like my experience to do UCF. I'm gonna do a part three to that. Yeah, I just gotta hold up and stay tuned. I just I just remember I gotta do a part three to that. I'm tripping. All right, so, um. So I had a landlord, a landlord from hell named Roberto. So basically the semester was about to start my second semester at UCF. And basically after a successful first semester, even though I would do a lot of shit, y'all gonna have to watch um, UCF, uh, UC, my University of Central Florida on video part one and two to understand what I went through. And it was early thought, but, um, but yeah, going to my second semester, it was like two days until the semester start, I still didn't have a household. You hear this? That's crazy, bro. I'm talking about like it was Saturday and the semester starts on Monday and I didn't have no place to go back to going to Orlando because I went back home for the summer for summer vacation. So basically, I ain't have no place to go back to. And then basically like, Dang, I'm doing. <laughs> All right. That was my roommate. He has to handle stuff. All right. So basically, um, so yeah, like. The landlord, it was my second semester, two days left, and I didn't have a place. So then I went on, on Craigslist. Yes, Craigslist, nigga. <laughs> hey, don't judge me. Please don't judge me. Yeah. So I went on Craigslist, and then basically I searched. I said, UCF. Um, I put, I put type in UCF, and I went to housing for the categories. And then it, when you type UCF, it shows you all houses that's close to UCF. Some of them say close to UCF, but there'll be a full cell area and say close to Valencia, UCF. UC, University of Central Florida, Valencia, Valencia College is also a college in, in Orlando. And then basically their full cell university, all of y'all know full cell university. If you don't know, Google it, you know, right there. <laughs> like, I don't know what else to tell you. But yeah, but basically like um, uh, UCF, right? UCF. UCF? Yeah, UCF. UCF. U to the C to the F, University of Central Florida. I researched that on Craigslist. And then basically, like, um, it showed me all the households. I just started calling people. I was desperate. I was like, hello, hello. I said, like, you still got the plan? Da -da 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 -da. And then basically, like, um, a lot of people said, can I say no? A lot of people said no. Then finally, I found Roberto. And I was like, hello. And then basically, it's like, hello, things like that. 
we talked and then he said basically like he got a, he got a room but there's other people that's asking for it and he's just basically examining everybody to see he got the right person he said the last person who at least just ended was a horrible person he messed up the room i lost shit and i told him i'm always to myself i'm a man of god go to church like i wouldn't give no problems i was desperate bro. i need a house semester starts in two days two damn days like i need a place and i need a place asap so basically like i was like i was like yeah i'm a good person he's like that and he's like he said tell me more about you i said haitian american my parents don't play that when i go up there for college college only i don't drink i don't party all of that good stuff that's gonna like convince him like pick me nigga like, <laughs> like pick me like that. so basically like um uh -huh. Finally, he was like, okay. And he, like, he said, he said, you know what? He said, all right. He said, you're in. And then basically, I was like, okay. And Roberto was Italian, so he had the accent. He had to tell me he's Italian because I was thinking like something else. But basically, he's like, he's like, he said, he said, okay, I pick you. And I was like, yes. And basically, I told my mom, I said, you sure you found a place? I was like, yeah, guarantee. He said, you got to pay him. He's like, this mom. And my mom, I love her so much. My mom basically gathered the money and said, all right, here's it go, things like that. And then she had to like, Cause it was like two days before semester ends, so I couldn't even get like a all the greyhounds were full, no flight, nothing, nothing was available. So basically, she had to order like a transportation company. The transportation company gets me to um, uh, uh, drove me to Orlando. It was a long drive, but we gonna skip all of that. Drive me to Orlando. They send me to the west side of Orlando. Now, for some of you in Orlando, like basically, there's west and there's east side. I said west side. What I'm saying. They sent me far east and or not far east, like yo, west of Orlando. West, I was right. What the hell I'm saying? Like, but far west Orlando, near Kissimmee area. So, how the hell is going to go from West Orlando to East Orlando, like basically near UCF in a matter of like you get me like minutes and shit like that? Like, like, like what the hell they was expecting? They said we don't go that far. We don't go our way to the east side. It's mostly the west and things like that. I'm like, what the hell? Like my mom paid and then. And I called my mom told the situation, so they made my mom pay extra to basically like um pay e extra so then to drop me off in the east side. You hear this? A, a, a transportation could never again, bro. A transportation company made my mom pay extra to basically like um bring me to to the bring me you know Tupac and Big y'all already know bring me to the the west side. And then all right, we get there, Roberto's good. I right, just myself. I told I told her sorry to long went to my new room. And boy, I didn't know what I got myself into. Roberto lived in the house with us. So it was me and my roommate, Nick. Roberto lived in the house with us. Again, to continue on, this guy had 35 cats. Yes, yeah, I heard correctly. Not one, not two, not even three. 35, three and a five. Uh, three, five, 35, exactly, 35. So basically, like, um, he had 35 cats in the household. So he had a couple of them, a good amount of them on his bed, a good amount of them in the garage where there's a bunch of cat litter containers and a, a couple of them outside. So he left the door, the slide door open for them to basically, like, get in any time they want. So I got in the house with 35 cats. So I was like, that's his business. I got my room, shit like that. Like, it was two days left of the semester. Semester starts, uh, and he wasn't too far from school, so I could like jump. And he said you could jump the back gate and basically. But back then, I was a taking bus then because I heard rumors that Orlando buses are horrible. There's no point in taking it, so I had I used to walk to school from his, which was like a good walk, a good ass walk. For me, it was not. I mean, it was something, but it was a good ass walk, like shit. And then basically, like yeah, things like that. Then as time over, we try and make this go fast. We not trying like things like that. Look, the kitchen. The kitchen in, in in the house, the water wasn't working. I mean, that's what I'm saying. The bathroom, the bathroom sink, and that that me and Nick shared. We shared one bathroom, two rooms, one bathroom. The sink didn't work. That's one. He gave us our own little refrigerator where we basically have to put our stuff in. But he didn't like us without his permission using his refrigerator, the big one. He gave us that little one. So when I did huge Walmart shopping, I had to put keep some stuff out. And when I kept some shit out, basically they expired. They went bad. And then, you know, bugs and shit like that. Like chickens went bad. Like the skin turned white. Like what the fuck? Potatoes. Oh, my goodness. Like it was just horrible. He gave us a small ass 
like not even that big refrigerator, put all your shit in there. His refrigerator is his, and that's where he put all the cat shit and snack for him because he worked out Publix. But you see what we I had to deal with. Like, what? Do you hear this, bro? And then um, so our second bathroom wasn't working. This guy had 35 cats. Then we had a small ass refrigerator. Bro, I went to use to get ice, right? From his uh, uh, refrigerator, and I took mostly all the ice. He came back one day and snapped at me, basically saying, Oh, take all the ice. Da, da, da. You know, he tells like, da, 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 da. He and like, like he was snapping and he was snapping because I took all the ice because you left us with a small ass refrigerator that could barely put like free shit because like everything full up and I could barely even close the shit. And basically like just because I went to your refrigerator, took some ice because I needed ice. He just snapped and lost his mind. Like I'm just like, bro, it's not that like you get me like it wasn't like something to make a scene out of. He may have seen out of and say he was pissed off about the ice. Then um, what else he did? His microwave, he um basically he didn't like us like using it and not leave it clean. Even though his ass used to dirty a little, like Nick had his own microwave. I had to purchase my own microwave. That she cost like ten dollars. It was dirty microwave. Like I still got that microwave till this day. It's like right there. I had to clean it. Or did I? I be lazy. Shut up. And I'm lazy. Like so basically like um um yeah like uh. Yeah, I got my own microwave. I had to. The ice, I had to start buying the ices from uh, from Walmart, like the ices with the thing, and basically break the ices. And hopefully they didn't melt because I had to put stuff in small fridge. He didn't want to use the refrigerator. He snapped about ice, 35 cats. It's just, it was too much. One time I came from school, I saw a lizard on my bed. On my bed. Now, usually I'm not for basically like, um, killing stuff and not playing outside. But the fucked up part by it, you left the door open to bring in animals from outside to get in the house. The li There was like two lizards and I even know. I saw one right there. I went bam, bam, bam. And I killed it. I killed that lizard and I was about to lay on my bed. Then I checked on my pillow. There was another lizard. I'm like, oh shit. The lizard was everywhere in my room. I started breaking stuff and basically I finally got it. Oh my goodness. When I told him what happened, this guy said, why you killed it? Why you bring it outside? I put it outside so he always could leave the, the door open again so more of them could come in and, and, and go in my house. Mind you, my door is the closest one to the outside door. So if they should sneak in the house, they could just slide into my door, slide through, and basically like said, this is my house now, and shit like that. Then the window that I had to tilt had a hole in it. So basically, one day I just I said, I never opened when I opened the window in the middle of the night. He said, cause it's hot and he ain't open no AC. His dumb ass to always put the AC low, so he's saving power. Oh my goodness. This, this old man is 75 years old. The cat is all he got. Like he had, bro. I, I feel sorry, but, but it, it was, it was a nightmare, bro. And I had a year lease. And this is all I'm telling, summarizing the whole year for y'all to make y'all like not, not last long, but it's just like you couldn't get his eyes. 35 cats, sick in our bathroom, don't work. Um, the, 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 the lizards on my bed come from outside, cats, every cats, and then basically like the tilt of my window and I open it, had a hole in it. So basically, once I open it, vroom, like three flying roaches flew inside my room once I opened it in the middle of the night after his ass told me to. And oh my, I had to deal with the roaches till my, like, bruh, almost burnt the, my room up killing those roaches. I finally killed those roaches. Then basically my, my room can contaminate with roaches. Had to kill, bruh. It was like a whole process, man. A whole process to get the experience to kill it. By the time my lease was over, the guy didn't even know. And then basically he was like, I, I just kept secret. I kept on sneaking inside the house. Like, then say, I said, hey, so hey to him. Be as nice as possible so he don't kick your ass out. Finding out that at least ended. He forgot that at least ended. So basically, um, days before I left, it was quiet. I didn't hear from him. I told Nick what happened. He said, oh, Roberto in the hospital. I was like, what? He said, kidney stones. They said, if, he, if like one day they saw, uh, God, if, if, if he didn't was sent, sent to the hospital the day my neighbor found him, he could have died. I said, oh, shit. And I left behind him. Like, my friends helped me, and I live where I live now. But basically, like, yo, like, I had to get out of here. That one year lease was over. It was over for, like, three weeks before I moved out. Lucky he didn't find out. 
And I know Roberto good. People are telling me like, uh, like, oh, do they, they, they you know if he came out the hospital? Now he did because every time I pass by, by a household, when I'm in my friend's house, they're going to old place it. And I seen the door open. I seen Roberto outside one time. So he good. But I had to, oh my goodness, that was like the worst experience I had. Y'all, if y'all heard, if y'all watched my UC, UCF part one and two video, y'all know I had the house before Roberto's. I had Simon. And y'all heard how that was like basically the back and forth over rent. But if y'all thought that was bad, imagine basically living with a guy with 35 cats and he lived with you. Usually landlord lives somewhere else and then he lived with you. It's, it was, bro, it was horrible, man. And that's the story for today. I just had to let, like, bro, shit was horrible. But remember, bro, to like, subscribe, and comment. Don't do one of them. Do all three, man. Enjoy. Like, like, subscribe, and comment. Thank you for all the, the love and support and everything like that. Even the haters, shout out to y'all, because without haters, you can't stay relevant. And, yeah, check out my story time playlist. Check it out. And y'all already know what it is. It's in my seat to the J to the C. And I'm out. Be breezy.